All right, we're ready to do the next function in program execution functions. It looks like that's going to be pass through. Pass through. Execute an external program and display raw output. The pass through function is similar to the exec function in that it executes a command, which is the argument for pass through. This function should be used in place of exec or system when the output from the Unix command is binary data, which needs to be passed directly back to the browser. A common use for this is to execute something like the PBM plus utilities that can output an image stream directly. By setting the content type to image GIF and then calling a PBM plus program to output a GIF, you can create PHP scripts that output images directly to the browser. The first argument is going to be the command, and then you could also possibly have a second argument, or actually they call them here parameters, and that would be return var. And this variable is an integer passed by reference. If the return var argument is present, the return status of the Unix command will be placed here. All right, now for the return value of pass-through. It doesn't return anything. The output of the pass-through command, or maybe I should call it the pass-through PHP function, however, is directed to, I believe, standard output. So if you're running the PHP script as a command line script, then the output will come out at your terminal. If you're running it in a PHP script that will run on the Apache web server and display in a user's web browser, then the output goes to the web browser. The notes for this PHP function are the same as those for the exec PHP function. So I don't want to go through them in detail. Basically, there's the one about warning you to use escape shell arg and escape shell command. And then there's the one telling you about your script will hang if you don't output the stream of the program you're running. And then there's those two about the safe mode. These were covered earlier in the previous video. That's it for pass through. We'll cover the next function in the next video.